going on guys welcome back to another video today we are actually going to be going over the back panel of the Far Cry 5 custom PC that we recently built for the giveaway competition now if you guys are interested in that giveaway competition I'll leave the link in the description below there's still time to enter so definitely getting quick so today I wanted to show you how I actually painted the multi layers now off camera beforehand I did give this panel a bit of a light wet sand that'll help this etch primer stick really nice and this primer is required for the next paint that we do apply so what we are going to be applying now is some Dulux granite effect now this will dry giving it that granite effect look this will give it a bit of texture as well which is what we have sprayed on the rest of the case now we want to put this around because we still want the back panel to be a part of the rest of the case it needs to blend in well and it also needs to look really rustic we're trying to go for that gritty look which is known for the Far Cry scenery. After all, the whole Far Cry game is set in Hope County, Montana. Lots of pine forest and bark and dirt and everything on the ground. So our first layer is the Ubisoft logo. Now we want that to be black. So we have to first spray the black circle in the middle where we want the Ubisoft logo to be located. Now this does include the text as well. So we need to make sure that we have a nice layer of black so that we cannot see the primer underneath. And of course we do have that nice even coverage. Now it is important to use enamel paints in the center wherever we're going to be doing the multi-layered paint because once we apply the vinyl if we did use acrylic paints and then we used acrylic over the vinyl the acrylic acts like a thin sheet of acrylic so if we go peeling that vinyl off it's actually going to be peeling off a lot of that acrylic around it as well it's not going to come off clean like it would with enamel paints so Amelia is helping me apply this Ubisoft logo because we want it nice and straight. We want to try and keep most and the majority of air bubbles out so that paint cannot seep underneath. It doesn't matter if a tiny bit does because it's just going to go with the rustic look anyway. But for the majority of it, we want to try and avoid those air bubbles. Now, a great way to apply this vinyl is by using the clear vinyl application tape. I did used to use the masking tape look application tape and the problem with that was you cannot actually see where your vinyl is to see if it is being applied nice and straight so I'm glad that we're now using this clear vinyl it makes it a lot easier now our second layer will be the stars so we want the stars to be white and we are trying to go for the American flag type look the main cover of the Far Cry video game actually has the American flag in it. So we're going to try and create the American flag behind the Ubisoft logo. So we're going with white on top. This is an enamel paint once again, and we want the white stars to show through. So that's what this next layer is about. Now we are not taking any of the vinyl off yet. The vinyl all comes off at the end. So you just keep spraying the layers of paint straight over that vinyl. Now it does not matter if this paint layer is very messy. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle or anything like that because once it comes to the final paint layer, that's where everything is cleaned up. Now once we have a nice layer of white over the top, it is time to apply our stars. Now I tried to get the exact pattern that is on the American flag and we're going to apply that on one side of the Ubisoft logo because basically a tiny bit of the American flag has the stars and then the rest is the red and white stripes. So we're going to apply that on one side, making sure that it is applied nice and straight. Now, once we do peel that application tape off, I'm just giving everything a bit of a pat down to try and get that last bit of air bubbles out. And now we are going to apply some blue paint to half of the Ubisoft logo, the half where the stars are so that we do have the white in the background once we peel back that vinyl star shape once again the blue does not have to be applied in a nice circle it doesn't have to be even or anything like that just as long as we've covered the majority of that white area which is underneath all of the stars so it's time to try and get that american flag look with the red and white stripes so we're starting off doing a bit of the red and then we want to try and get that white popping out a bit more as well. So after we've done the red stripe, we will go over that white again to 
obviously bring out the white a lot more because it is a bit faded at the moment. So a little second coat will certainly help that pop. Now this is all about just applying layer upon layer. It'll really make the panel stand out a lot more. And if you're not happy with any paint job, then you just go over it again, make it more vibrant, make it stand out a bit more, which is what you guys will see me do here. So now that the enamel paint for the American flag has all dried up, it is time to go around the outside. This part is an acrylic paint, but it's not going over any of the vinyl, so it's not gonna cause any issues once we pick that vinyl off. And this is what the rest of the case is painted with, so it's gonna blend really nice with the rest of the case once we do put the back panel on. Now we're trying to keep that circle logo, and this is what I was meaning before, where we don't have to worry about applying that paint nice and neat, because this is the final touch and the border, which is going to clean all of those edges up and create that nice circle look that we want. Now do remember that we did apply that Dulux paint effect to begin with, which gives it that nice gritty look. So this is not a flat surface. It's gonna look really nice with the rest of the case. So once all of that paint is dried, we can take our time removing all of the vinyl and that will reveal all of the layers underneath. If you remember, we did apply that Ubisoft logo first, which is why you see the writing coming out in black. And of course the logo, once we get to that, that'll come out in black as well. The stars, they should come out in white once we start peeling all of that off. And then once all of that is done, you'll see the final result. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial. This was a quick one that I know a lot of you guys were interested in. I had a lot of comments on this. People didn't quite understand how I actually achieved the result that I did perhaps because it was a bit too fast in the video as it was a time lapse. So I did try and slow it down a bit for you guys as we were taking you through the whole process. Now I do a lot of these tutorials as well guys, so definitely check out more on the channel. Um, you know, I've got playlists for tutorials, water cooling tutorials as well, if any of you guys are interested. But if you did enjoy this painting the back panel, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and check out some of the custom PCs on our channel and don't forget that we do have the giveaway of this custom PC still active on the channel. So if you want to win the Far Cry PC, definitely check out that link in the description below. Hope you all enjoy guys and we'll see you all in the next one.